So guys, this is the perfect example of what you would call rules for thee, but not for me. And I'll be honest with you guys, this will probably be the last video I post about this topic, unless if something else crazy comes out about this new state law that California has with the new $20 an hour minimum wage, then I will make a video on it. But until then, this will probably be my last one because I don't totally hate California. I've actually never been to California, but honestly, I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's honestly, truly, you know, a, a beautiful place to go to. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There's shitty parts of it like every other place, but I've heard good things like the weather. The weather is amazing. There's constantly always something to do. And I, like I said, I don't want to continue to just bash this governor because I think California gets enough shit it is, as it is, but California itself, it is a nice place, and I would also really, really love to go there someday to visit for a vacation. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to discuss this because a restaurant that Gavin Newsom um, pretty much owns, his job is offering $16 an hour. So if you look at the headline here, Gavin Newsom's restaurant offering job at $16 per hour despite new state law of a $20 per hour for fast food workers. So I am, we also have to keep in mind too, and, and I do keep seeing a lot of people commenting on this, is that usually the big fast food chains like McDonald's, Wendy's, uh, I assume a Chick-fil-A out there or Chipotle or whatever, the big ones are offering $20 an hour. Now I do see small business owners like small pop shops and things like that are still offering $15, $16 an hour. So we do have to keep that in mind. The last video I made, um, I didn't really have clarity on that. So I'm sorry, but you know, that is a good thing because as we said in our last video, small business owners cannot afford $20 an hour, especially if you have a lot of people working for you or you're just going to lose your job. But I kind of wanted to get into this because the governor is facing tons of backlash for this. And you got me sure as hell people are going to jump all over this no matter what. And so he partially owns this restaurant. It's called Plump Jack Cafe in the Olympic Valley. I have no idea where this is, but it's among a group of um, eateries owned by a company Newsom founded in 1992 and is hiring a part-time buster who will aim to assist the food server to ensure guest satisfaction uh, during all aspects of the dining experience. The job listing states the salary for the buster is $16 an hour plus tips, um, but a food service worker would make more working at McDonald's than the high-end restaurant bar. Thanks to the new $20 fast food minimum wage that went into effect on Monday. Now, guys, this is the perfect example of why I think just the $20 minimum wage is a terrible idea. Now, because it's, <laughs> you can't do this. I mean, this is the perfect example of kind of what a small business owner feels like when they're being told, hey, buddy, you got to start out with $20 an hour. Also, too, we have to keep in mind, not the, I'm really not defending him because I do think California gets enough shit as it is. But fast food restaurants that have more than like 30 locations, your local restaurants are still paying $16 an hour. So that kind of goes back to what I said in the beginning. So I do think the headline is a little misleading. But listen, guys, I, the whole $20 an hour thing is... Is definitely getting attention. I didn't think it would get this much attention. Um, and I think other states are realizing how much attention this gets. I just hope this doesn't come to New Jersey. Now, listen, if this is just for the big uh, places like McDonald's, Burger King, whatever. You know what? Enjoy the $20 an hour. But as long as they don't force this as like a federal law and they're making small business owners pay this, I'm, I'm fine with this. You know, hey, you know what? People work at Burger King, McDonald's. You're getting a $5, $4 an hour more extra. So, you know what? Props to you. I have no problem with that. But like I said, as long as this doesn't affect the small business owners, I have no problem for it. But I just wanted to make this video because I thought this would be like a funny joke for rules for the, but not for me type of thing. So this was a quick article. There's nothing really more into it. I think this is going to be kind of the last video I make on this, but a lot of people are pissed off in the comments, pretty much calling this politician a hypocrite and shit like that, which I, I mean, <laughs> why is your restaurant not $20 an hour, but the big ones are, you know? So, but like I say, as long as it doesn't affect the, uh, 
the small guys, I'm for it because I am a small business owner and it's just not fair. So, um, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised because at the end of the day, the small people always get screwed over. So, um, yeah, but just wanted to give my thoughts on this. Nothing crazy about this video. Just kind of wanted to get back in the rhythm of posting again. I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I've been super busy, guys. I run a full-time dog boarding business, and it's just been crazy. It's getting that time of year where everyone's just going away, and people are just hitting me up to watch their dogs. So I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much, but just wanted to give my thoughts. I think this will be the last video. I don't want to shit on Gavin Newsom anymore, because also I really don't know the guy. And I do think California would be an awesome place to visit. I don't think it is as bad as everyone makes it seem to be or sometimes I make it seem to be. So just trying to be neutral here. But hope you guys have a great day. Till next time. Peace.